I picked up this John Deere 210 tractor, really cheap on an auction, and I'm right in the middle of the process of bringing it back to life. And today I'm working on the seat. As you can see, it's in pretty tough shape and I don't want to put a lot of money into this thing. So I was able to find a newer seat and this is off of a, I think it's called a 125. So I adapted it and um, was able to bolt up the springs to this. But let me show you the problem. You see it yet? All right, let's get the right angle. That seat is sitting way too high. And when I get the fender pan back on, it'll probably be another inch higher than where it is right now. So that's, that's not gonna work. So I have to come up with a way to make this work. So here's my plan. This seat, I think that the more this came off of, it must have been sloped forward a little bit because you could see this wedge-shaped piece in here. So what I want to do is cut this wedge out so that this is now the new bottom. Uh, I think that'll get a better angle and it certainly will drop it down a bit. Uh, but the problem is there's really nothing to bolt these springs to if I cut this out. So here's my plan. I'm going to sacrifice the old seat. What I'm going to do is just cut this piece out of here. Um, I'll have to reattach the mounting bolts. This is these go in here like this, and you can see these are these are in kind of tough shape. So I'm probably going to have to um, clean these up and weld those back in, but I'm sure I can do that. And then this pan, I'll, I should be able to screw right to the bottom of this other seat. So let's just see if it works. Let's check our fit. All right, I think I can work with that. This pan has a lot of stress cracks around where these nuts used to be wedged in here. So I'm gonna to need to weld these up before I do. I wanna draw a small hole at the very end of each of these cracks so that they don't continue.
All right, there it is mocked up. I think it still sits pretty high, a lot higher than the old seat, probably, I'm gonna say about two inches, but I did gain quite a bit by taking the front down. So I'll have to wait until the pan is on to see how the, the end product sits. All right, there it is with the fenders on. It still sits a little on the high side. I wish it was down about two inches, but I think this will work. All right, on with the rest of the project.